This time on IJDM, we are unboxing, testing out the Trackmaster made by Belkin. Up next. Another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. Okay, what we're looking at here is the... Okay, there's a few YouTubers out there. I mean, I'll mention his name, LGR. A lot of people, you've seen him. He does stuff on weird mice and stuff like that. I've done a few episodes in the past like that, but I haven't done anything lately. But I want to cover trackballs, and I mean, I have featured this keyboard that's in behind us that has that nifty, huge, giant uh, cue ball, trackball thing in it. But uh, yeah, that thing's working great. I actually have a, another model of those. I'm still actually looking for one other model that came in between this one and the one I have. But anyhow, we are talking about this today. Stay on task. Yeah, it's programmable, apparently, probably with some software, one touch zoom controls, the dual wheel scrolling. We're not going to be doing all this crazy stuff. We're just going to plug this in and just see if it works. And it's designed for Windows NT 9598 uh, 3X. So it should be DOS compatible if it's 3.1 because Windows. 3.1 ran on DOS essentially. And here you get it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And a special thanks to one of my uh, co executive producers, Scott, for loaning this to me. This has actually been sitting in my little storage area for, I think, about a year, two years since I started the channel. And I'm getting the feeling he probably wants this back sooner or later. What the? Okay. <laughs> Well, this has been unboxed before. Okay, well, that's typical on this channel. Boxing, unboxing. Scott might have wanted to check it out, but what was in here in my storage thing, one of my old Google uh, Chromecast units got stuck in there. Oh, that was interesting. He would have had a free Chromecast if uh, we didn't find that. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and uh, see what we got here. Hopefully I can get this back in the box for him. Uh, yeah, it should be simple enough. We're just gonna, I don't know, we gotta put this on the floor because we're gonna be using the old Digilink system to test this out. Hopefully I don't have to install any software. We got the, the uh, Trackmaster installation guide and it's a pretty hefty guide. And we got a piece of paper. Now I'm gonna open this off camera just in case it's a receipt from somewhere. I don't want to give away anybody's personal information. And you, okay, you may be wondering what was on this piece of paper. Uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was blank. Uh, okay, well, I guess if you want to take notes on the uh, trackball, then there you go. Uh, yeah, there's the manual. And, uh, you know, I'll just throw this off camera here. And then we got a floppy disk to uh, set it up with whatever you're setting up with. It doesn't really say specifically if it's 98 or whatever. I have a feeling there's a few different types of drivers on there, probably just simple um, driver routines considering it is a Belkin product, which I mean, they've made some, they made, they've been well known for products, especially I think the, the biggest thing I can remember with Belkin is their, uh, their surge, their, uh, they call them surge, but they're, you know, their power strips uh, for multi-plugs there. In fact, I think I still have a few of them sitting around the house. Uh, I don't know what they're made from now. Now they're probably, oh, wow. You know, uh, bump that down a little bit and we'll just check focus here. Okay. Yeah. Lately, this has been happening to me and I think it happened on my last video too with, what were we doing on the last video uh, speaker thing and it worked with my old phone? <laughs> I, I, wow. I mean, I'm not going to say... I'm not gonna say like top quality, but this feels pretty good. I could see this as a gaming thing and it's a little, it could be with my table, but it's a little off kilter, but yeah, this is, this is actually kind of comfy. And okay, well, <laughs> well I'm, okay, now I got sidetracked. Uh, the ball, it moves perfectly. I mean, I, this thing might need to be serviced. It may not even work because it's been sitting in a box so long. And obviously you can tell the age of it because it's got a serial uh, adapter on there. You got your two mouse click buttons. Uh, then you got some scroll wheels and you got your mouse thing. And then you get another um, shift click kind of thing. I think over here or just another click thing. But uh, that uh, click is actually quite sad. I mean, it's it feels good. I mean, it's not the best ever, but I mean, it, 
this is not bad. I was not expecting this. First case to me, I'm like, I'm not gonna do anything just on a mouse trackball thing. But yeah, let's, okay, let's get this hooked up right now. Okay, we get this hooked up and uh, yeah, scroll and everything and that, but we're gonna go mm, just like that. Okay, uh, I just did a quick sign on here and we're just gonna, okay, let's try this out. Could use a little more control. Whoa, this is fast. I mean, I have it set fast for the other trackball, so yeah, whoa, it's fast. Okay, I'll just have to not be so, no, I have to like music. I'm just using this just to click and, and try this out, but uh, it's, it's really smooth. It's again, a little quick because that's the mouse driver that's loaded right now. It's set to really super fast, but uh, I'm obviously not gonna be able to use the scroll wheels. Uh, first thing my, my buddy's gonna say, well, why didn't you use it on, on Duke Nukem 3D? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Uh, I just wanted to test this out real quick, make sure everything was working. But uh, yeah, let's let's fire up a uh, let's fire up a Duke Nukem game. Uh, not on not on this. I will be covering one more video on the Digital Link series, but it won't necessarily just be on that. It'll be on all the software that over the years that they've had different types of music autom automation stuff. That'll be coming up in a future video, but not for a little while because I'm still getting a few things together on that. It's kind of been kind of delayed or, or put on the shelf for now because I've had a few issues in the background trying to get everything together that I needed for the episode. However, let's uh, try this uh, trackball out and uh, see how it works with uh, Duke Nukem now. Is it me or everybody use this game for like testing computers? It's like the benchmark for uh, YouTube videos. It seems like sometimes, let's yeah, let's go piece of cake. I know, I know. I, I'm just curious if we have any. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna have to say no to Duke because I'm gonna have to go into all these settings and things and yeah, I don't even know if it's, you know what? It is not connected and I know why. <laughs> oh, I don't have the mouse driver loaded by default. So yeah, but luckily I think I can just do this and see if it finds it. Yeah, okay. Let's see if this works. Get the wire here. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. It's just, it's like, hmm. It's about the fo good enough focus we can get here with uh, mild eyes and being this close to the laptop. But uh, yeah, let's just get started here. Hopefully something works on this now because, I mean, we're not going to do much with it, but, uh, oh yeah, it's working. Oh, wow. So let's, okay. So the trigger button is the inner one I showed you with it, the thumb button, but, uh, yeah, this, look around and then the, your movement you can use like cursor. No, see, I can't move forward and back though, but yeah, I mean, this is, pretty good for trigger I just I don't know if I'd want to play Duke Nukem with a trackball it's just and it's it's obviously not looking up or down it's just going left or right but uh, yeah this is pretty good it's just a like, very sensitive very sensitive but on that note I mean I can't really say much more about this trackball but if you see one laying around and you know it's kind of your thing might be handy for certain type of games I know certain trackballs are but the idea of this is simple it's just you know if you have a mouse sometimes it's going all over your desk or whatever um, the idea of this is it, it's got these little rubber feet and I mean, it doesn't move at all. So if you're kind of, you know, when your mouse gets away from you and stuff and you know how that happens sometimes, that was a general idea. I think of these and also a comfort factor of, I don't know if this would like long-term, if this would be comfortable, it feels good temporarily, but I mean, you know, one of those things and I got nothing else to say about this thing and uh, that'll do it for this IJDM. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.